Prince Harry savaged Rishi Sunak's conservative government on Tuesday, in his explosive high court case against a newspaper group. In a breach of the convention that royals stay out of party politics, the Duke of Sussex, 38, insisted both the government and Britain's press were at rock bottom. It came in his witness statement alleging unlawful news gathering at the Daily Mirror and its sister titles The Sunday Mirror and Sunday People between 1996 and 2010. Harry is the first senior royal to be quizzed in court since the future Edward VII gave evidence in a slander trial over a gambling scandal in 1891. He said ministers worked with the press to defend vested interests, in return for favorable coverage. Standing beneath his father's coat of arms, he said, our country is judged globally by the state of our press and our government, both of which I believe are at rock bottom. Democracy fails when your press fails to scrutinize and hold the government accountable, and instead choose to get into bed with them so they can ensure the status quo. Mr. Sunak's spokesman declined to comment on the prince's comment, as it was part of a live legal case. In one impassioned statement, Harry branded journalists the mothership of online trolling. He said, trolls react and mobilize the stories they create. People have died as a result, and people will continue to kill themselves by suicide when they can't see any other way out. How much more blood will stain their typing fingers before someone can put a stop to this madness? Harry said he had brought the case not because I hate the tabloid press or even necessarily a section of it, but in order to properly hold the people who have hijacked those privileges, which come with being a member of the press, to account for their actions. But the Duke also found himself being held to account by MGN Limited barrister Andrew Green KC. Mr. Green asked how he could blame his problems over media coverage on articles he could not remember reading, and accused him of lacking evidence to support his claims. Harry claims about 140 articles published between 1996 and 2010 contained information gathered using unlawful methods such as phone interception or deception. 33 of them have been selected to be considered at trial. Apart from one admission of using a private investigator unlawfully, the newspaper publisher insists the stories came from palace officials, friends, relations, sometimes official statements, or from other press reports. Mr. Green asked Harry to identify what evidence he had of unlawful voicemail interception in specific articles. Don't miss! damning figures show not one rugby league star has ever been knighted, latest, the prince repeatedly said he would have to ask that question of the journalist who wrote it. He continually said the manner in which information had been obtained was highly or incredibly suspicious. Harry said some of the journalists had been known for unlawful voicemail interception or that there were invoices to third parties, including private investigators known for snooping, around the time of the articles. When asked how reporters could have broken into his phone for a story about his 12th birthday, at a time when he admitted he did not have a mobile phone, he suggested they may have unlawfully gained access to the phone of his mother, the late Princess Diana. Mr. Green suggested, that's just speculation you've come up with now. The barrister pointed out a reference in the same article to him taking his parents' divorce badly was obvious. Harry said, like most children, I think, yes. But the prince said it was not legitimate to report such information and the methods in which it was obtained seem incredibly suspicious. Mr. Green then said Diana had made public comments to reporters about the difficulties her children faced after the divorce.
the court heard about a dispute between him and his brother Prince William over whether they should try to speak to Diana's former butler, Paul Burrell. It was told that Harry thought of the ex-servant who wrote about her as a two-faced S. Harry revealed he feared he might be kicked out of Eton for taking drugs and claimed journalists illegally intercepted voicemail on his then-girlfriend Chelsea Davies' phone. As a consequence of bringing his claim, he said TV presenter and ex-Daily Mirror editor Piers Morgan had launched a barrage of horrific personal attacks and intimidation on him and his wife Meghan, 41. The Duke said it was presumably in retaliation and in the hope that I will back down, before being able to hold him properly accountable for his unlawful activity towards both me and my mother during this editorship. A spokesman for MGN Limited said, where historical wrongdoing has taken place, we have made admissions, take full responsibility and apologize unreservedly but we will vigorously defend against allegations of wrongdoing where our journalists acted lawfully. MGN is now part of a very different company. We are committed to acting with integrity and our objective in this trial is to allow both the business and our journalists to move forward from events that took place many years ago. Prince Harry will resume his evidence in court on Wednesday, 